a lot of folks watching last night's game and seeing Miko Hardman score the game-winning touchdown to end the longest Super Bowl ever. Almost had a double overtime game. And they use the cornhole play, the same play that they use with Sky Moore corn and Kadarius Corndog. Corn right? Corndog. Corndog yeah, play. Corn yeah, dog. sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Andy Reid, rich, food related. That's what I played against. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Quincy, yeah. Uh, Andy Reid, food related. Keenan, you know Michael what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah Corndog. Yeah, yeah, pardon corn me. <laughs> they use the Corndog play. Same thing they use with Sky Moore and Kadarius Tony. Fourth straight Super Bowl in which a player acquired midseason. Scored in that year's Super Bowl for the team that acquired him. It was Kadarius Tony last year. It was Odell Beckham Jr. the year before that. And it was Antonio Brown for yep. the Bucks the year before that. Yep. And so, you know, there's that. But what I was thinking was, of course, it's the guy the Jets coughed up. The Jets <laughs> had him because <laughs> yep. he was going to be the guy who was going to be corn dogging for Aaron <laughs> Rodgers. <laughs> Right? That was all part of the plan. Rodgers yeah. would get his guys from Green Bay, and we'd get a guy from a Super Bowl winner. Right? That's who we'd get. And he would be corn dogging, and he would be running, and he would be catching, and he'd be Miko Hardman. And then he turned out to be as useless as Dalvin Cook. Ooh, that's, yep. That's true. Yep. <laughs> yep. And just keep throwing him on the log of people who were previously great or subsequently great, who turned out to be totally useless with the Jets. Favre was kind of like that when it all came down to it with him. Favre was like 8-3. and three Dude, please, please, everything that was going on there, too. Whatever, just leave it. Mm. All right? It, it, it was just a way, it was just a transfer portal to the Vikings. He, he, he wanted his pound of flesh on the, on, the, on the Packers, and he knew he wasn't getting it with the Jets. He knew he just had to get out before he could get back. At Green Bay. Tim Tebow. Let's not forget him. Remember oh, Tebow time? Hey, let's get him on the Jets. The hell. But Miko Hardman, of course, Jets couldn't use him. And the Chiefs turned that straw into gold. Well, Miko predicted uh, it, remember? Uh, whatever. And that he also fumbled the through, through the end zone and all that. Oh, yeah, right. He predicted with the Haas, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, great. He said we'd, we'd beat the 49ers in the Super Bowl. He just... That meant the Chiefs, not he the He meant Jets. the Chiefs. Right. Hey, oh, sorry. sure. <laughs> Thanks. Sorry. That's what I thought. No of course problem. it's Hardman. No problem. I tweeted that out. Of course it's Hardman. It had nothing to do with that he's a former Chief and it's Hardman. Right. No, it had to do with the Jets coughed him up. He was useless there. You take him, Kansas City. Oh, yeah. We'll end the season and go back to back. And he had that 50-yard bomb catch that set up right before Pacheco's fumble. Thank you. Anyway, sorry. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.